I guess most baseball f people feel that uh, it's a starting rotation of the Blue Jays that will be uh, the strong point this year that will keep them uh, on on track to to being a potential playoff team. And yet, fan graphs, it's just one entity with an opinion, uh, had the starting rotation as 16th in Major League Baseball. The, wow. uh, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stunned. Uh, I, I mean, I could see how you could say 4th or 6th or 8th. I don't know how you could say 16th, and obviously I'm not – you know, privy to their formulas, and there are a lot of smart guys working there. But uh, I think they, I think the rotation led the American League in ERA last year, if I'm not mistaken. And on paper, it's stronger this year with Liriano replacing Dickey. Now, I, I assume what they're saying, uh, among other things, is they expect some regression to the mean for some people. That maybe Hap takes a step back. Who knows? I, I don't know. But um, again, I could see you making a case that four or five other rotations are as good or better, but not 15. This is not an average rotation on paper heading into the season. It, it's it's the strength of the team, and so it's one of the best in baseball. Dan Schulman, our guest, he'll call the opener on ESPN uh, with the Cubs and Cardinals, and of course on Sportsnet with uh, the Jays uh, during the 17th season. It's an oddity with, with Fangraphs because they, they sort of painted it as starting rotation but then looked at organizational depth. But in my mind, they're looking too deeply at – they're overweighing – prospects that have never pitched at the major league level but but the jays did we we know it was in essence a fire sale in the summer of 15 so you know the hoffmans and the Nor and the tigers have two guys in their rotation um potentially a norris and boyd that we know would be here and that's not even to mention noah Syndergaard. so there have been a lot of young starting pitchers go yeah. out the door for different reasons in the last five years here yeah, but uh, and I understand that they're looking not only at the top five, but depth as well. And, and, and in that sense, I can understand why the Blue Jays are a little bit lower than if you just look at the top five. You know, you always hope your five guys are going to start 162 games, and that's just not the way it is. The Dodgers used 15 different starting pitchers last year, which is incredible if you think about it, and won the division. I think the Blue Jays only used seven, if yep. I'm not mistaken. I mean, the Blue Jays were... Uh, a really healthy group in terms of their rotation last year, and that's something they're going to need to be if they're going to be a playoff team again this year. I think they'll hit, um, and I think the bullpen um, it will be okay. It might need, I think, some tinkering during the season, depending on how guys do. But you know, if two of the if two of the five guys in the rotation come up with you know long term injuries, the Blue Jays are in trouble. They need to keep these guys healthy. Yeah, I think any rotation uh, loses two guys out of their five, they they'd be in trouble. Uh, the Blue Jays uh, obviously. Like most major league teams, you, you, there's three words when, when a training camp starts. I think it's every sport. Don't get hurt. And so you cross your fingers, everything's going to be okay to get them to opening day. But here's Devin Travis, and he's the opposite. He was like, get healthy, stay healthy, and, and that's been good. Uh, Roberto Asuna, you wanted him to have one good outing to give you confidence that everything was going to be okay because everything's always kind of been okay. And he pitched well yesterday. So, man, you just I, you want to bubble wrap them and get them to opening day right now. Yeah, you know, and Donaldson got healthy yeah. and Bautista was healthy and hot and Tulowitzki's been healthy. So, yeah, but, you know, I know the wins and losses don't show it, but who cares? There's no correlation between spring wins and losses and regular season wins and losses. And, and uh, you're right, the most important thing to come out of the camp is that everybody's healthy. You'd like to see, you know, you're hoping the Sanchez blister thing is not uh, a real issue. He's not slated to start until the fifth game of the regular season, so that should be okay. Obviously, they lost Bo Schultz, and you feel badly for Schultz, who's been knocking on the door for a few years, but he was probably on the fringe of making the team anyway. But, uh, you know, among the core guys on the team, they're in pretty good shape right now. I think the best news is that Marco Estrada looks like he's really healthy because, remember, last year he wasn't at the beginning of the year, and he was behind everybody else by a turn or two and really didn't get going for a while. So the fact that he's healthy enough to be tabbed as the opening day starter I think is huge news for the Blue Jays.